How's it going gang and welcome to another Fallout 76 video. I'm the final render and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at another awesome character build that will blow your socks off. We're looking at a shotgun build that would even make the Doomslayer blush. Now shotgun builds have always been extremely strong. Some of the most powerful PvE and PvP builds are shotgun builds. However, this is definitely one of the fastest and most powerful builds I've ever seen. Now for this build we're going to be using a quad explosive 250 plus damage resistance whilst reloading double barreled shotgun. However you can use any shotgun you like in order to make this build work but this one is particularly special. But if you enjoy Fallout 76 videos please consider liking the video and subscribing. We do lots of Fallout 76 content here and we're always looking out for new friends to join the community. We're a friendly bunch and we don't bite much, so go ahead and say hello in the comments section and I can't wait to see you there. Now let's take a look at our perks, which are fairly typical for shotgun builds, but like with every build, use whatever perks you want and enjoy, because it's a video game and it's meant to be fun. First up, we're going to require 12 strength, and with that 12 strength, we're first going to get the shotgunner, expert shotgunner, and master shotgunner perks at level 3. This will give us an additional 60% of the shotgun's base damage, as well as scattershot level 3, which reduces the weight of our shotguns by 90%, but more importantly, speeds up our reload by a whopping 90%. We're going to go with 6 perception for this build, and then go and get the level 3 variant of Skeet Shooter. This gives us excellent accuracy and spread with our shotguns, and makes shooting accurately much more easy and effective. Then, we will throw on level 3 of Concentrated Fire. This is crucial for the build, because we can target particular limbs with great accuracy in VATS, and we get much more damage per shot when using VATS. Next, we will need 9 points in Agility, in order to get the Action Girl slash Action Boy perk at level 3. This will regenerate our action points 45% faster than normal. Then after that we want level 3 of Enforcer. Now this is extremely critical to this build, as Enforcer rank 3 means each one of our shotgun pellets has a 15% chance to stagger an enemy and a 30% chance to the cripple the limb, meaning shotguns can immobilize and freeze any enemy of any size very easily. Then finally, in agility, we want to get Gung Fu level 3. This will mean that we can kill a target in VATS, and then our aim will automatically swap to the new enemy, and we'll be doing more damage to each enemy after every automatic swap, potentially giving us an additional 30% more damage on our third enemy. Extremely good perk, and makes shooting in VATS much quicker and easier. Finally, we will need 9 points into Luck. This will give us Bloody Mess level 3, to give us an additional 15% damage under all circumstances. After that, we will get better criticals at level 3, to make our critical shots do 40% more damage, which is insanely powerful. And then finally, we will need level 3 of Critical Savvy, which means our critical hits only use 55% of our critical meter, meaning we can get more critical shots more often. Now there are some perks that aren't necessarily essential, but I do highly recommend. For example, we're using an explosive weapon right now, so I do highly recommend getting 6 points of endurance in order to equip fireproof level 3 to minimise the amount of damage you do to yourself when you get too close to your own shotgun's explosions, and also pick up adamantium skeleton level 3 to stop you from crippling your own limbs when you get too close to your own shotgun's explosions if you have weak armour. On top of that, I would also recommend getting 5 points of intelligence in order to get Demolition Expert level 5 to increase the damage of our explosions from our shotguns by 60%. But as I said, these are 3 perks that aren't necessarily essential, but I would recommend them if you happen to have an explosive shotgun in particular when you're making your own shotgun build. Also, in terms of luck, you could replace or equip alongside Critical Savvy, level 3 of 4 leaf clover, which means each hit in VATS has an excellent chance to refill our critical meter, or level 3 of Grim Reaper Sprint, which gives us a 35% chance to refill our action point critical meter every time we kill an enemy in VATS. But really, it's down to personal choice. I like Critical Savvy because it's just a flat reduction of critical points requirements rather than just a percentage chance to refill our critical meter. 
So what I'm essentially saying is, with these perks, we have a shotgun that does great damage, is very accurate, reloads fast, has minimal spread, targets and does better damage to limbs easily, refills action points faster, guaranteed limbs crippled, instant target acquisition with extra damage, blood and guts flying everywhere, on top of devastated critical hits that we can get twice as often. Sound good? Sweet. Now let's take a look at our specific gun for this video. Quad, explosive, 250 plus damage resistance whilst reloading, double barreled shotgun. Now double barreled shotguns, by their very nature, are the fastest firing and reloading shotguns in the game, but they are held back by low ammo capacity. And now explosive shotguns have always been devastating in Fallout 76, even after the historical explosive shotgun nerf of January 2019. And even more so, resistance whilst reloading is obviously great. But there is one really special part to this build, and that is the quad effect, which quadruples the ammo capacity of this double barreled shotgun all the way to a staggering, <laughs> staggering, did you get it? <laughs> all the way to a staggering eight rounds per clip. Now I know what you're saying, but final render, you juiced up muscle man, my combat shotgun has eight rounds in its magazine, and it's fully automatic. Well, you do flatter me, but the double barreled with 8 rounds shoots much faster than your automatic combat shotgun, which means your target becomes dead quicker. Now, let's have a little contest here. Let's have a little comparison to demonstrate this point. Here we have the quad shotgun with 8 rounds loaded into it because of its legendary effect. And next to it, we have an automatic combat shotgun with 8 rounds loaded into it with the fully automatic mod on top of it. Let's see which gun can fire all 8 rounds first and thus does more damage first. But an important thing to note before we start is that the fully automatic mod on the combat shotgun is the fastest fire rate of that shotgun. So let's go. So as you can see, the double barreled shotgun dishes out more shots quicker than the automatic shotgun's fastest fire rate. So not only is the double barreled quicker, but also it has a higher base damage anyway. However, one other interesting second test which I thought would be worth showing is who can dish out 12 rounds faster because that is the maximum amount a combat shotgun can hold in its drum magazine. That is of course a combat shotgun without a legendary effect. So as you can see, the combat shotgun can outpace the double barreled quad shotgun to 12 rounds. However, I still think you should be going with the quad double barreled shotgun because it does still shoot faster, it gets more bullets out quicker and it still does higher base damage than the regular combat shotgun does. However, I do still think it is worth mentioning this little factor because you might eventually get a legendary combat shotgun that does out damage the quad double barreled shotgun. But for the sake of this comparison, the double barreled quad is far more powerful than the combat shotgun with a fully automatic mod. But next, let's take a look at the mods which we are going to be using on our double barreled shotgun. First, we have the vigorous receiver. I was really tempted to put the Prime Receiver on it in order to get much more damage against the Scorched. However, I'd rather play to the gun's strengths and take this receiver, which boosts its fire rate and overall damage. Next, we're going to use the Aligned Long Barrel to get the best range, better recoil and hip fire accuracy. And now for the stock, we went with the True Stock to get the best hip fire accuracy. However, according to the stats, in actual fact, this stock gives us the best overall accuracy in the game. So that's brilliant. And now for the sights, we went with a reflex circle sight. Because why not? It's not really essential for a gun like this to have a sight, but it is a nice thing. And then finally, we add the spiked muzzle brake, which improves our per shot recoil, our overall recoil control, and accuracy. It also gives a little bit more bash damage, but it does remove a little bit of range. However, I think we can cope with that considering all the other positive effects that this spiked muzzle break gives us. So now we've built our gun and assigned our perks, what's it like to use? In short, it's an explosive powerhouse that can take down pretty much any foe with incredible ease. The thing about shotguns is that they fire 8 pellets rather than an individual bullet. However, each pellet has its own explosive effect, its own stagger chance 
and its own cripple chance. So you get an enormous amount of explosive damage, and because of the Enforcer card, we have 8 chances per shot of crippling an enemy's limb with VATS targeting, and each of those chances is 30% to actually cripple that limb. So any enemy, big or small, can be brought down to its knees by targeting its legs, and it's extremely likely that it will be a crippling shot. Then you just have to finish the job while it's cooling around. But also, this crippling effect from the Enforcer card takes place at any range, assuming the pellets still hit. So even if you're too far away from the enemy to actually deal any damage to his life bar, the chances of crippling his limb is exactly the same. Not only that, but we have built the fastest possible explosive shotgun in the game with four times the amount of ammo it's usually meant to have. And not only that, but it is a shotgun. So if you're not the most accurate or fastest gunslinger in the West, you can still open fire from the hip and have a chance to hit the enemy with 64 explosive pellets in 2.39 seconds. Now that's not that bad, right? But thank you very much for watching this video everyone. I hope you guys can see why shotgun builds are so extremely powerful in Fallout 76. And keep in mind, they used to be far more intense. So wow, they were nerfed very heavily in 2019 and January. So let me know what kind of builds you want to see on the channel in the future. And I'll see what kind of builds we can cover. And I think this one has definitely been a really fun one. And one that I think isn't too difficult for you guys to try yourself. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you check out all the cool Patreon people in the description below who help support the channel with their financial donations. You of course can also do the same. And remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy Fallout 76. We're going to be doing lots of it in the future and we are very nearly on 75,000 subscribers. So I can't wait to see you guys in the comment section and let me know what kind of cool builds you guys are rolling with. But until then, I've been the final render and you've been the audience. Bye bye gang. Bye bye. Bye bye.